Have you ever had pain in the ball of your foot? The ball of your foot is the front of your foot right there. And it's the most likely place to develop big painful calluses, corns, and even joint and bone, bone pain. Capsulitis, neuromas, and metatarsal overload syndrome. So I'm going to get into all these and tell you how to take care of it pretty quickly. So here's what the front of your foot looks like. The pressure goes around your metatarsal joints right here in a parabola and this absorbs almost all your body weight and push off. So what happens is if you have a short first metatarsal as you can see right here all the weights pointed on the tip of your second metatarsal joint and mostly third then you can develop a bunion in your first or maybe that's what's causing your pain and all the pain is going to end up in the middle of your foot as you can see right here so that's ball of the foot pain this can lead to neuromas by compressing your metatarsal heads and putting too much pressure on them it can lead to stress fractures and this is very common in runners and the reason this happens the biomechanics of it are that normally you're supposed to have a certain length of heel strike mid stance and then toe off but if you have tight hamstrings tight knees tight hips and tight plantar fascia a larger percentage over 30 percent of the time is spent on toe off and this puts an abnormal amount of pressure on the front of your foot so this could lead to these things so here's what you do first thing over the first week or two you have to decrease the inflammation you can do this through anti-inflammatories like Motrin, Ibuprofen, that kind of thing. Or you can even put topical anti-inflammatories on there. And check with your uh, podiatrist first before you take these in case you have heart problems, stomach problems, or kidney problems. Freeze a bottle full of water and use it for 15 to 20 minutes while you're watching TV. You can put some cloth over it to cool your feet. This isn't to decrease the pain. This is to get the inflammatory cells out of there, to penetrate deep, to give your foot a chance to start healing faster. Use a tennis ball or a golf ball or lots of other available products to massage the front of your foot. Break up the scar tissue, the adhesions, and get the blood flowing, get the inflammation out of there. And if you need to, this is called a metatarsal pad. They're available at corner stores, even better ones than this, cushion gel pads that go right underneath your metatarsal heads, which are right here, and help offload them a little bit so there's a little bit less pressure on them. It's more into your arch. If that's still not working after a week or two, you're still not feeling the hottest and you want to keep it away permanently, get a good pair of shoes. At DetroitFootPain.com, we have a complete shoe purchasing and fit, fitting guide. I think you should check that out. Over-the-counter inserts. These are pretty cheap and believe me, this is one of the best things you can do. These things will change your life. They will help not only your arch pain, but your forefoot pain stretching this is key as I mentioned studies show that this is overwhelmingly the number one thing calf stretches plantar fascia stretches with a towel hamstring stretches even stretch out your back the stiffness is what puts all the pain on the front of your foot you want to be able to get at least 90 degrees in your ankle joint otherwise you're gonna be those people right back here with poor biomechanics that are spending a lot of time towing off and then if that's still not working, get a night splint. These things aren't too expensive. You put them on at night and it stretches your foot so that once you wake up in the morning, your foot's stretched out and there's less pressure on the front of your foot. And if you're still in that resistant five to 10%, you wanna go see your podiatrist, get some x-rays, get some studies. Maybe you have a break that didn't heal correctly. Maybe you have an anti-inflammatory problem like rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis. So those are things worth considering. And also physical therapy. They can help you out, do the right stretches, break up those adhesions, custom inserts. If you have foot problems that the over-the-counter aren't solving, these are phenomenal. And I hate to say it, and you probably already know it, but weight loss, never a bad idea. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.